Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester here with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles. Now I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and today I'm going to show you how to get a white or black horse. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, but you will need um, the DLC or add-on called Riders of the Hyboria. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is well worth it and i'm going to show you why now you can find this uh dlc on the playstation store for nine dollars and 99 cents or it's on steam for purchase and xbox pretty easy to get um, they have a lot of wonderful dlcs but if you're a horse lover i highly recommend you invest in this it's well worth it so it has new armors, which I'm not going to display here, and weapons uh, and saddles, which I'm not going to display either. But I am going to demonstrate uh, the new building pieces and placeables that this set has. Yeah, because it's absolutely wonderful. So we're going to start on this side. And first of all, we have two separate carts here that you can place. This cart doesn't have anything in it. And this one has a bunch of barrels in it. Yeah, very cool. Then it has uh, some pavement. Now the two, the difference between these two is pretty obvious. This one has curved corners and this one is just a straight rectangle. And then it has uh, hay covered foundations for inside the stalls. Yeah, it has the triangle pieces like the, the basic uh, building sets. This is the stable floor and, the, of course, the stable triangle. And then it has uh, the small gate door. Now, you can put this on. Let me see if I can pull this up. Oh, I can pick it up. All right, so you can pick the door out, and you can just use this as an entrance to a stall without a door, or you can put the door on it. And this one doesn't have any pillars, but this one behind me does. So let's go ahead and put the door in that one so you can see how that functions. And just like that, yeah, and you can flip the door either way and just set that and walk up to it and hit square and it opens. Yeah, and these pillars are, are great. This is the fence um, that goes with the set. That's very beautiful. This is the wall. Now it doesn't have any walls with windows because of course the stable wouldn't have that. So uh, yeah, and then it has the big gate. This is the big wide gate that the cart can actually uh, set in if you want or very easy for your horse to get through. That also opens and uh, yeah, so those are your basic building pieces. Now the straw covered roof pieces uh, with your normal set, your basic set, work great with this. Any roofing actually works wonderful, but that looks particularly nice. So you can build a, a beautiful stable with this set. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. And then it comes with a little log pile here, which uh, goes wonderfully with the other pieces, especially the fireplace. Um, down this end, we have the wheelbarrow that comes with it. And then we have three different weather vanes. One has a dragon, a wolf, and uh, we're not quite sure what this is, but it's pretty in any case. <laughs> and then behind we have just a wheel, a cartwheel that you can set up against the building for decoration. And then we have the food trough and the water trough. And the water trough actually has water in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know if you can drink from it or not, but um, my water isn't down enough so I can actually tell. But yeah, we'll have to test that out. I never tested it out. And then, of course, it has the white and black horse. So let me show you how to get that. Now, you do need tainted fodder, and that you will get from your alchemal bench. So for those of you who don't even have your alchemal bench yet, I'll show you how to get that. So you go into your feats. Wait for our leg here. Oh, there we go. All right, we're going to scroll over to Feats. And then we're going to scroll over to Survivalist. And we're going to scroll down right here to the Fireball Cauldron. And as you can see on the right hand side, not only do you get the cauldron, but you can also make your Alchemist bench. 
and I have one set up right here. This is the improved Alchemist bench, but you can the spotter will show up in the in the regular one, the basic one too. So we want to open this up with our square button. You go to the right and you scroll down to the bottom and now you will see tainted fodder. That's what it looks like. It takes one gruel, uh, one yellow lotus blossom and one aloe leaves to make. So I have three made already. So we're going to grab those and put those in our inventory. And now all you need to do is go to your stable. Now this is the kind of tricky part. So I already have a mature horse in my stable. So that's what you'll need. Your horse will have to have grown to maturity and you open this up. <laughs> Once we get past the lag, there we go. All right. And you want to grab your horse. Now you do not want to take your horse out of inventory. No, do not take him out. Open up your inventory and you should have a horse and you should have your fodder in here. Then you want to scroll over to your crafting on the right and you want to scroll down to where you see the black and white horse option, which is going to be way down here because I have a lot of add-ons and there they are. Now you're wondering, well, why do I have four black horses? And the reason is, is that as you can see, the dapple horse is lit up with the fodder because if I want this black horse, I need, I need to highlight the dapple horse because the dapple gray is what I have in my inventory. Now, if I had the paint in there, I would have to scroll over to this uh, painted horse and uh, that would be lit up because that's the horse I have in my inventory. So once you have that, you can see down on the bottom there, you hit your triangle, it says craft one. So I am going to get the black horse. We're going to craft one. And as you can see, he is now in my cache being made. Yeah, and that's how that's done. So while he's doing that, we're going to quickly skip over to this other one. I have another gra dapple gray. Doesn't that figure I got dapple grays <laughs> this time? Uh, but see, there's my black horse now in my inventory. So now we want to grab this dapple gray and then back out. Make sure you leave him in the inventory. And then we want to scroll down again until we find the white horses. And again, this is all possible with the Riders of the Hyboria DLC. So down on the bottom here, you'll see the white horses. So as I scroll through, you can see that is the one that's lit up because I have the dapple gray horse again. So we again hit the triangle for craft one and there he is crafting away. And he will be in my inventory when he's finished. Now, of course, this is going to make me over encumbered. Yeah, my little girly with quite her little sachet there. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to place them in our quick menu here. And now we're going to place them out into the world. And voila, we have a beautiful black horse. And we have a beautiful white horse. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Awesome. So there you are. Yep. I mean, and he is totally black. There is not a speck of white on him. No white blaze, no white stockings. He's totally. And so is the white. Yeah. And I like the white because they, they did make the eyes darker on this white horse and the muzzle which uh, is very attractive, I think. So, yeah, guys, that's how you get your black and white horse. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. So, again, I highly recommend this um, Riders of the Hyboria pack. Uh, I will try to leave a link to that at the end of this video, and I will also uh, give you a link to my playlist. If you like this guide, you might like some others and find them helpful. 
So yeah, guys, if you did like, please give me that big old like. And if you'd like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.